Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Two Brothers Comics Top Picks of the Week, where we're going to go over our top picks in comic books for New Comic Book Day, March 25th, 2020. First, we're going to start off with one of our favorite books from a great publisher in Folklore's number five from Boom Studios. In issue number four, it was very revealing, but at the same time, there was a lot of confusion that I felt like we got. And there's a lot of questions that I felt like we were left with in that issue. So hopefully with issue 5, we're going to get some answers like, is Ansel finally going to come face to face with the Folk Lords? And if he does, what will that mean for his future and the future of the world that he lives in? Hopefully we're going to get some answers to that in issue number 5, which is going to feature our standard cover A and also a really nice FOC variant. And another great title from Boom Studios, Once in Future, issue number seven. The first story arc ended in issue number six where we saw Bridget and Duncan, they were able to escape from the other world and from King Arthur. Uh, issues uh, one through six were really, really good. It was a solid storyline that was very enjoyable. And now with issue number seven kicking off the second story arc, what is that going to have in store for us? Are we going to see a new villain? Are we going to see added new heroes? And will we find out if Granny has any other secrets that she's been keeping from Duncan this whole entire time? We're going to hopefully find out where that's going to lead us in issue number 7, which is going to feature cover A and an awesome, awesome FOC variant. Also, if you missed out on the first story arc, make sure you look out for the trade paperback for volume 1 that is also coming out this week. And from Image Comics, we've got the new title on the stump, issue number two coming out. Issue number one was a great, great first issue where we saw our government is now doing things a little differently. We saw two senators fighting it out on the stump in a gruesome battle to determine if a bill would be passed or not. We were introduced into a slew of new characters. This book was filled with action, violence, gore, and just a pinch of politics. Made for a great first issue. Can't wait to see where issue two takes us and how far these on the stump battles are going to go. Will they eventually end up leading to a fight to the death? Depending on that, then what does that do for our government? Hopefully, we're going to get some answers and this is going to keep getting better in issue number two of On the Stump. We're going to get a cover A and a really cool cover B. Next on the list, we have Wolverine issue number two from Marvel Comics. Now, if you didn't get a chance to pick up the first issue, it was a two-part book. So that means you had two stories inside the very first issue. And man, it was very gruesome. It was what you kind of hoped for out of a Wolverine comic. Now, I'm not going to go into too many spoilers, just because I know maybe not everybody's had a chance to review it. But this book was fantastic. And one of my favorite things at the very end was a little bit of a appearance we'll say and i really am excited to see kind of where that story goes and once you get a chance to check it out hopefully we get to see a little more in issue number two for issue number two we're going to get a cover a a 1 in 25 incentive cover god love man kills and in the ugly and then the spider woman variant the final book on our list is woman heart from mad cave studios now this book happens to be my personal favorite on the list. I think the combination of Castlevania meets Doctor Who with the time traveling vampires and all of these really interesting characters you get from a lot of different uh, classic stories kind of mixed into one. Uh, it is on issue 6 coming up and man this thing is incredible. If you haven't had a chance to pick it up you can still pick these up from Mad Cape Studios. Uh, or you can ask your local comic shop to order them for you. Uh, again, this has got to be one of my favorite books uh, coming out from any publisher. Uh, but it's the artwork, the story, everything about it is fantastic. And for this, you're going to get the standard cover A. Before we get into our additional recommended reads for the week outside of our top five, I want to thank you so much for subscribing and hitting the notification bell. It does mean a lot to us and it does help out. So let's get right into it. From Mad Cave Studios, Savage Bastards, number two. From DC, Batman Curse of the White Knight, issue number eight. Batman Superman, issue number eight. Canto Trade Paperback. Giant Size X-Men, Nightcrawler. 
issue number one of Hellions. And last, Gods, chapter six. And then Transformers, Terminator, issue number one from IDW.